out here at the San Joaquin Wildlife Sanctuary, there's so much to explore on this nature walk. Ponds, pollinators, plants, animals, and so much more. Come along. This free monthly walk is for people of all ages and is guided by an Audubon volunteer who makes sure you don't miss out on anything, including these raccoon tracks. Birds are also a big draw, and the water serves as an oasis. And so the water is coming out of the San Diego Creek and coming into the ponds for about seven to 10 days, and then going back to the creek out to the ocean. So you can see all kinds of insects and native plants that belong in a wetland in Orange County. Trudy Hurd tells us the facility used to be a duck hunting club from the 1940s through the 1980s, until the Irvine Water District opened it up to the public. Well, we get a chance to see all the different kinds of resident birds around the ponds, but also the migrating birds. So if you come in summer, you might see the nesting birds. If you come in winter, you'll see the wintering birds. And then spring and fall, the birds that are migrating. Some of the birds spotted on this walk, the great blue heron and white pelicans, who seem to be sunbathing on their own island. You know, we're from Washington State originally, which is a lot greener, and so this has been kind of a, a reminder of home. Um, I think that uh, likely we'll come back even on our own just because of the amount of birds that are available. Sam Alston's wife and daughter are very much into birding. So has gotten a lot of her friends into birding as well. They'll come over to our yard and watch the birds and then we're you know kind of like okay we got to protect our environment and then come out here and look at like the water's lower this year they were just saying over there the water's lower this year so there's not as many birds out here and that's kind of sad so hopefully we can share through what we learn here other kids her age. I think people need to be more educated definitely they need to come around for this kind of stuff learn and see that the numbers are going down you know they need to see it for themselves and they need to witness how beautiful these animals are. The walk winds up at the pollinator garden. These are all native plants and the native bees, which are tend to be non-aggressive, they don't build hives, uh, pollinate the plants and so do butterflies, and maybe, maybe occasionally a, a, hum, a hummingbird. Jay Miller tells us about some of the other programs they offer to the youth. So we take scouts around, we take homeschool kids around, we have bat walks at night, uh, we, have, um, uh, we, we have these walks once a month. This monthly walk is about an hour and a half long and covers about a mile or so of the 300 acres of the wetlands. For more on this and other programs, visit their website. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twagg.